you have one of these Thetford toilets, or if you have one of these terrible toilet seats, I've got something for you. This toilet seat is so hard to clean. The underside of it has like ridges and it's not smooth and it's so hard to get in there to clean. So let's show you what I'm talking about. That part right there, see that? That's disgusting. Also, back here is almost impossible to get clean, which I know is kind of the case for all toilets, but I'm hoping what I got will solve that issue too. All right, after recruiting Harper with her seven-year-old little girl hands to get up in back of there, we got the mounting plates on. Sounds like you should. Oh. Ah, yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Pull it, pull it up, see if it. Mm -mm. Right, cool. So, so you just gotta open it a little bit. Yeah, that seemed to be what the trick was, huh? All right. Hmm. So now close the seat and the lid. It's not all tightened yet, so it told me not to tighten it yet. Okay. Well, it does fit. I was real worried that if we got a new one, it was gonna hang way over. Yeah. Now we're tightening it down now that we've got it positioned the way we want. And push it back on. There we go. So it's a soft close. And it says you can push it down. It's not going to hurt it. So now I have an easy to clean area. Anytime that I want to clean, we'll press the button here and lift it off. Clean. Put it back on. Today is going to be educational. We are at Jamestown Settlement. I don't actually, I was going to point to it, but that's not it. So I don't know where it is, but we are there. Hopefully the kids will learn something. They've been learning about this kind of stuff in school, and we'll teach you what we learn. We are in the museum part. Look at those cool pants. Look at that outfit. I wish we still dressed like that. Like Clint said, the kids and I have just finished learning about Jamestown, and it was pretty cool to be able to experience something tangible with what we have just learned. We explored the inside museum first and then headed outside. First, we visited the village that gave us a glimpse of how the indigenous people at the time would have lived. We're all ready. And Sarah's... 10 miles behind us. She is, I feel like she's not that into history, but whenever we come to a place like this, she just gets caught up. Finally see the ships. Lucas is incredibly excited, aren't you? Next, we saw replicas of the three ships that the colonists would have originally come over on. We have reproductions of the Susan Constant, Godspeed, and Discovery that the first hundred or so men arrived on. It's really neat. This is the discovery. We are inside the boat. <laughs> the ship. Oh, this kid again. <laughs> it's crazy how small it looks like I mean it is small but once you go under there's a lot more room down there than you realize like it would go into a part like where you spin it this would kind of move mm -hmm. and if you so if you're trying to go left it would go turn that way I think is actually a recreation of what it would have been like back in the day. Wow. Those roofs look like a major fire hazard. Yeah, it's really neat. They have people at each one. You know, that are dressed up and, you know, answer questions and all that. Alright, let's see.
it was awesome. Probably one of my most favorite things I've done. Hey, Daddy, what did you think? I thought it was awesome. Very, very cool. Harper? I don't like historical things. <laughs> Lucas? I love it. I want to do more things like this. I had figured that it was probably going to cost us either $54 or $59 for the five of us to get in. And they actually do a homeschool discount. So I just had to show our, in our state, we get a verification of compliance when we register the kids for homeschool. So I showed them that and we all got a discount. I think it was like $34. So saved us, you know, almost half. We are about to take the ferry across the bay from Jamestown. I don't know which river this is, but we're crossing it. We're going! This is a free ferry. And we had no wait time. We just pulled right up and jumped right on. Not only that, it's not even full. There's no one behind us at all. Chipoke? 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 I don't know. No, state park. I have to walk down to the beach. Supposedly you're able to find shark teeth here, so time won't tell. There's the beach. I hope it's coming out as beautiful on my phone as it looks like it is. Most of the shells, they're all broken up. It's rare you find one that's whole. Flat shells like this, look, you can skip them. Show us. Boy, that was not the one. I'm putting that on camera. Oh, do you find it? Do it. Yep. Well, well, I mean, look at this bird. It just looks like one. He, he, he dives underwater. There he goes. Swimming, 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 swimming. I can't tell where he went. Hopefully he pops up somewhere in frame so y'all can see how long these birds stay underwater. Ah, there he is. We did not find any shark teeth, although I think Maybe if we had come prepared with a sifter and shovel, we might would have had better luck. But we did hear several people down there say that they found shark teeth. So, but we are now at hurt your feet. this playground that's right by the parking lot. So we're parked right there. Okay, so we've talked to y'all about dairy-free options. We are in Cineholic in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and everything here is vegan. So she can have anything she wants. She got a cookie monster. Here are the options. I know you can't really see them, but she got a cookie monster. And this is a chain, you know, franchise, so you should see if there's one in your area. We're at Virginia Beach this time. And it's freezing. Freezing cold. Look at these losers. Then I'm getting wet. Harper's trying to coax Theo into getting in the water. He's not sold on it, but he loves watching her run from it. This is their new favorite game. Run from the waves. Oh, Lucas ain't running. <laughs> All right, it's dark, but we're done with the beach, and so the kids are having their Cookie Monster cinnamon roll. Good. Yeah? Good. Daddy's already eaten his chocolate chip cookie. He thought it was great. I've got a coconut cream pie under there, and we bought an old school one. That's the name of it, just like an original. I'm struggling. Mmm. 